Hey there, it's Jennifer Fields with SaverThisLife.com, back to you with part five of Finding Focus in a Distracted World. I'm reading through the book, Manage Your Day to Day, Build a Routine, Find Your Focus, and Sharpen Your Creative Mind from the team at 99U, and um, just going through chapters as I go along. So this one's part five, it's the final part of Finding Your Focus in a Distracted World. And we get to hear this time from Scott Belsky. Scott's actually, he's VP of Community for Adobe. And he's also the co-founder and head of Behance, which Behance runs 99U, the people who put out this book. So um, this is a good one. Scott, um, when it comes to finding focus, Scott taps into being more present in transitional moments. So his idea is, you know, when we're standing in line at grocery store or maybe we're at the car wash, getting our car washed, you know, whatever we're doing where we're kind of waiting, we're in waiting, we're out in public, but we're in waiting. What do we usually do? We pick out our smartphones, right? And we, we get on, we check Facebook, we check email, we, we try to keep ourselves occupied. We look at text messages, all that kind of stuff. And he's saying that by doing that, you know, we're really missing out on some possibilities in life. You know, he, he says, you know, the person you're at line next to at the store could be a next, you know, client or business partner or maybe the first investor in your business. One of um, the people he was in line next to ended up being his wife. So that's how he met his wife was, was in line and neither of them had their devices with them. So that worked in their favor. Um, he goes through and talks about he gives a few tips on um, tuning into you. That's what the section is called, is tuning into you. And he leaves us with a few tips or thoughts on prioritizing being present. And his challenge to us is to, to keep focus and preserve sanctity of mind required to create and to ultimately make an impact in what matters most to you. This can only happen when you capitalize on the here and now. So he's just really wanting us to get in tune with the present and and quit you know stop trying to think about what's going on in email or what's what's happening online in social networks and really take advantage of the current moment and and pay attention to what's going on pay attention to where you are pay attention to your surroundings and especially the people that you're coming into contact with you know maybe you're not really coming into contact with them maybe you're not even getting eye contact because you're hurrying along and looking at your smartphone and not really paying attention and and he's really wanting to say let's stop doing that and and start becoming more human and, and be aware of the situations that we're in so his few tips for um, prioritizing our present moment are number one be aware of the cost of constant connection if your focus is always on others and quenching your appetite for information and external validation you will miss out on the opportunity to mine the potential of your mind number two Recognize when you're tuning into the stream for the wrong reasons. We often look at our devices for a sense of reassurance. Become more aware of the insecurity that pulls you away from the present moment. You cannot imagine what will be if you are constantly concerned with what already is. So stay in the present and quit worrying about what's going on on Facebook and in your email. And, and really tune into why you can't just stand there and why, you know, if you're left to a moment by yourself, maybe in line or something waiting that you just have to get on. You know, what is that that's pulling you to do that? Uh, the next one is create windows of non-stimulation in your day. Make this time sacred and use it to focus on a separate list of two or three things that are important to you over the long run. Use this time to think, to digest, and you've learned and to plan. To digest what you learned and to plan. So is that Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon, is, is great for doing this. Jeff leaves Mondays and Thursdays open on his day to just kind of play around and be creative, you know, maybe play around on Amazon sites or, or hold impromptu meetings and just kind of be creative and, and not have his days packed. So if Jeff has time to do that, you probably have time to do that too. Listen to your gut as much as you listen to others. With all the new sources of communication and amplification, don't let yourself be persuaded by the volume of the masses. Nothing should resonate more loudly than your own intuition. So quit tapping into resources looking for the answer 
maybe that's what you're doing online is looking for the answer and, and Scott's saying that a lot of times we just need to be present and, and look within ourselves because we already have the answer. And the last one is stay open to the possibilities of serendipity. The most important connections, whether with people, ideas, or mistakes that, light, that lead to key realizations, often spring from unexpected circumstances. Be fully, be, by being fully present when you are, where you are, you let chance and the curious universe we live in work its magic. So those are a few thoughts from Scott Belsky. Stay tuned, because tomorrow I am starting the next section, and you'll just have to find out what that is. So I'll be back soon with more from Manage Your Day to Day, Build Your Routine, Find Your Focus, and Sharpen Your Creative Mind. I hope you stick with me and continue on. And I hope that you're getting some good value from this. I know that I am. So if you are, comment, um, leave your comments below and, and share these videos if they're helping you at all, um, getting control of your day. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.